So we're going to have Shafir interviewing Ivan, talking about the league and his performance in mm-hmm. it. We'll kick you off the bat. Um, and stay tuned soon for information on No Fundies League Season 2. In the meantime, there are a ton of great game events like the All Fundies League, which has a bunch of East Coast players in the uh, next week. Um, and all the weeklies that have been popping up all over the country and um, also in other scenes, like I've seen a bunch of locals from the EU recently, which has been yep. awesome. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah, just you know, stay tuned, keep supporting PM, and thanks for watching. And we'll kick you over to the interview now. Okay. All right, so we're getting into it. Um, Grand Finals is done, and... We have the winner, Ivan, here, who not only won this week's Season 1 finale, but he also won the previous event for NFL, um, the third event that we held. So two NFLs under your belt. Um, let's go through your bracket today uh, to start off. So first you had uh, Fingy, I believe. Yeah, it was Fingy. So, um, I mean, I imagine, like, you're... You play all the spaces, so I imagine like that set was Wolf Falco, I believe. Yeah, it was Wolf Falco. Uh, I mean, like I don't love Wolf spaces. It's not like an easy matchup for me. Like I've I've always struggled a little bit, like because yeah, mo- most of my practice with spaces is with spaces that are Art Wolf and sometimes more because I play a yeah, lot of yeah, melee. Yeah. But I mean, I know the I know the I know the character well enough to like know I know what to do. Yeah, it makes sense. I mean, uh. It- you having familiarity with the characters because you play melee. I mean, Fingy played Falco, so you probably know that matchup. I mean, even though you're saying it's like a tough one, you probably know the character at least decently well. So mm-hmm. imagine that was a good set for you. I mean, you won 3 0. Um, yeah, Wolf we'll has some stupid stuff on Falco that, like, you're not <laughs> ready for. It's just yeah. It's rough. And then you had Cloudburst after, which was a game five set, actually. So walk me through what you're thinking about that. <laughs> Cloud it plays in a way that's like really like you just don't know what he's gonna do next. So like even though like I had like I just I just didn't know how he was gonna approach and he was just like doing a bunch of squirrel shit that I don't I don't I don't know what he's what, what's, <laughs> yeah. what's happening, you know. And honestly, like you know, I was really close to losing. I was down like two one and then I think I barely won game four. And then game five he just like threw away the first stock and after that it was just like oh this is this is a dub. Yeah, yeah, I mean, so, I guess sometimes the momentum just carries you <laughs> in situations. Yeah, yeah, like yeah. That. I, I felt he lo- he lost a set in game four. Yeah. So. Oh yeah, I hear that from players all the time. It's like sometimes you get into that last game and you like you're already mentally like exhausted and it could be too much at times. So. Yeah, when when the wind slips away, like and you were so yeah. close, it's hard to play the next one. You know. Oh yeah, but I mean, after that, I mean, you. You played a uh, sneeze after in another game five set, and I talked with him a little bit uh, while the set was like after the set happened. He was saying how it was almost a reverse three zero. Um, but oh, he was close. It, yeah, he was close. Yeah, <laughs> but uh, it like got away from him. Um, what do you think about that? Like, how what was what was the difference? Like you said with Cloud, you felt like he lost it in game four, but with sneeze, he was probably had some momentum going into game five to start. Uh, so. It was. It was, uh, he lost the first two games with Diddy. And they were like, off the top of my head, I think they were close, but not like last hit or anything. Yeah. And then game three, I, when he switched to Rob, I thought he was just kind of like mentally checked out. But he actually played like better with Rob because I think he was just feeling Rob more that day. Or, yeah. And, uh, so like he, he won that, that first game and the momentum carried through the second game. And honestly, he looked, it looked like he was going to win the third game. Like it was pretty, it was pretty close. And yeah. I think I just got a cheeky fair in and killed him at like a hundred. Oh uh, yeah, I mean, it it was definitely a close set. So it was interesting to see. I mean, taking two game fives back to back, that's probably a bit stressful. But yeah, you know, he's, getting, he's definitely yeah. getting closer, closer. Like he's yeah, for sure, for sure. And after that, um, you had your first set with Parker in Winners Finals, which was a 3-0. Um, and how was that set for you? Uh, Parker just doesn't know how to play against Wolf without Meta Knight. Like honestly, <laughs> he, he seems kind of lost. Like, like yeah, because you, you you can tell he he's like trying to figure it out in that moment. 
And yeah, yeah, like, yeah. He gets, he gets like you know gets shine flashed at like seventy and dies. It's like well, you gotta learn how to do deal with this. And he like doesn't really get me that well because he's playing Sonic the entire time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It makes sense. I mean, Parker uh, has said that he's probably dropping Meta Knight for now. I think. Um, yeah, I don't. I just don't think he finds it fun anymore. Yeah. So, I mean, hopefully. We'll see from him if he makes some adaptations in that matchup. But you were looking really good. I mean, you took a 3-0 in winners finals, 3-1 in grands, um, to get you. It's hard to figure it out in grands, but yeah, you know. yeah. I mean, sometimes it's just hard. Not enough games or something. You need a bit mm-hmm. more experience. But I mean, that got you the W. And I mean, here you're sitting today, <laughs> the champion. So let's talk a bit. Um, I'm going to ask a few questions now. So I want to know what you thought about NFL overall as like the league. We had three events and then this finale for season one. Um, how did you feel about like the format that we did or anything that you want to say basically about what you thought about NFL? Uh, let's see. Um, it It like NFL just has this feel of like, being I, I I don't like I, I like the way I treat it is like I'm just trying to get games in. Cause every time like I had to pick somebody for the next week, I always try to pick somebody that I haven't played yet. Cause I was like I, I don't care about the easy dub. I'm trying to like get some like good experience right now. And but it also has this air competitive like 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 a, the prestige. So it's really hard to like like do you do you play for matchup experience or do you play for like the W? Because I know, like, people were playing, like, like trying to get, like, knowledge of their secondaries. So I think Parker would have played Meta Knight if he was really trying to win, you know? Mm-hmm. Absolutely. And, I mean, we've seen from you, too. I mean, you played both Falco and Wolf um, mm-hmm. throughout NFL itself. Like, uh, there was one week where you went pretty much only Falco. Um, and I know that was one of the weeks that you picked Doctor, who people weren't expecting you to pick, uh, to be honest. Um, because they were saying, oh, why would a spacey player want to play against Zelda? But um, it's interesting to see that, you know, the mindset where you're saying, like, how certain players are trying to get more matchup experience or see what, how their secondaries are doing. So, I mean, what do you think, we like, as far as Falco goes, like, are we going to see more Falco from you going forward, or is it mostly? Just I, I I think there's I think it's going to be, like, 99% Wolf. Like, Falco is just, like, a fun pick for me. Like yeah. I love, I lo- I love developing Falco. I love learning the matchups with Falco. But there's some matchups where I'm like, man, Falco blows. Falco <laughs> yeah. blows. Uh, like realistically, I think he's still a good character, like top twenty. But I, uh, he's yeah. hard to play. No, yeah, definitely. And I mean, overall, I you, I think you stayed in D one throughout all. No, no, I, all I dropped. Them. I dropped D two. Oh, I, yeah, you... I, lo- I lost a doctor with Falco. I think you lost to him, but that in relegation you ended up going back into D one. Yeah, yeah, I yeah, I, yeah. I won in re- relegation. Well, yeah, I guess I guess I guess that's not technically. Yeah, that's D2. not technically D two. It, it doesn't matter. Um, so mostly, I mean, you stayed in D one overall. Uh, who would you say are some of the players, not only in NFL but just recently? I mean, you've been playing in like various net play black brackets, such as Salty Spittoon yesterday, where you got second. Um, mm-hmm. and we had the LG Winter Circuit, which I believe you won. That's what I um, won, yeah. Who are some of the players that you think are starting to give you some trouble recently or that you're, like, on the lookout for, you know? I mean, today, uh, obviously, you had the sets with Cloud and Sneeze that were kind of close, but are there any other players that come to mind? Pachoop, for sure. It's, Pachoop? It's, uh, Pachoop's the number one, number one that pops up in my head. I'm like, Pachoop's scary. Like, I, think <laughs> he's t- I think he's top 50 level for sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's, like uh, him getting a third last uh yesterday was just honestly crazy. Like, if I was playing a character that wasn't Wolf, I'd be really scared. Even I in the know. even in the set I played with him at uh the LG tournament, it was like last hit. It was really close. I was scared, but mm-hmm. honestly, the more I play that matchup, the more I'm like, he blows. <laughs> <laughs> Wolf yeah, yeah. definitely, you know, slaps the D around for sure. Yeah, for sure, for sure. Any other players that come to mind that, you know, have been giving you a little bit of trouble, or you think that 
right now. All right, I'll give you the shadow, Severe. I'll give you the shadow. You, you, hey, you, you, you pretty well. You know, you did pretty well. Hey, you kidding. don't need it. You don't need to give me anything. <laughs> <laughs> I, I'm just asking for the general knowledge. But, uh, no, but yeah, I mean, overall, uh, I think we've seen that with NFL, we've seen a rise of the net play community in general. You know, obviously, we all wish that offline was back and we were playing at majors and everything, but. Uh, I wanted to get uh, some of your thoughts, like, you know, East Coast has started off AFL as well. Um, what do you think, like, is the most important thing going into net play events for people who may be, like, a bit hesitant to enter them? Because some people are on the idea that, like, you know, net play, I'd rather just not compete at all. But obviously, like, we came together and we did NFL competing. Um, you've been competing in a lot of net play events yourself. So it's like, what do you think is, like, important? for people to think about when they're competing in net play events? I think net play events are just the best for personal growth, honestly. It's like trying to put like too much pres- like prestige and like this is how like so and so stacks up to the competition through net play. It's just like it's not a good uh, indicator of skill. I know like some characters are like just stronger on net compared to others. Like yeah. I think a big offender is like Ganon. I think Ganon's <laughs> pretty going on net. Uh, I mean, there's like a bunch of different characters that are better on that than on land, and this is uh, it like trying to st- trying trying to like measure yourself against other people. It's just like it it, it it's not accurate at all. So I, honestly, I would enter net play tournaments because just like I'm just trying to get some matchup knowledge, you know, trying to learn some new things. Yeah, so I guess what you're saying is, you know, people shouldn't you know, take it as seriously, like, this is how good I am at the game, but rather more so just, like, a chance to learn and, you know, you get various matchups and... Yeah, because like obviously it's still fun to compete and, like, try to see who's, like, on that, but it's... I think taking it in that mindset just helps a lot because it's really easy to get mad on net play. Yeah, and it's absolutely. like it, it's, it, it's, it's for justifiable reasons, too, so I... Like just try. I would just try not to like take it as the end all be all, you know. Yeah. No. Absolutely. Uh, and then, so my last question I just wanted to ask for you is: so we're gonna be going into season two of NFL. We hope that obviously you come back with us. Um, but we're gonna be probably inviting some new players in. Um, we're gonna see who we get from the Southwest that we can do. We may. I'm going to see, based on connections, if we can expand up to like Pacific Northwest and stuff, obviously, because I'd like to have more people in. But um, who do you think are some of the like Southwest players that aren't in NFL that you'd like to see maybe going forward in season two? Southwest, like what do you? What do you yeah, I, I, Southwest meaning like California, AZ kind of area. Are there any players you think who weren't in our roster that you know? you may think are good additions. Cali or Arizona? Uh, I mean, obviously the Sosas. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I've been, are, in, are I've been in talk with them, yeah. Because, like, honestly, it's like, the, the my main competition right now is just Kevin. Like, I'm, I'm so mad I lost him yesterday. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because, like, everyone else is, like, they're, they're close to take, taking steps off me. I mean, I'm always they're always the underdog, like like back yeah. up to me. Even even like Born like even Born Man Parker is just like not been doing well just because he's been been playing uh other characters. So I've been like basically winning most tournaments I've entered that don't have uh the doctor. So I mean yeah. I'd like to see some other like really top level yeah. talent like Blank and so is uh yeah. Oh yeah, absolutely. I mean having those people that can push you even more. I'm sure is important, and and we're in the talks with them. We'll see if we can get them. <laughs> um, but uh, other than that, I mean, um, I guess that's basically all I wanted to go over with you. I just wanted to ask if you have any shout outs that you wanted to give um, before we close off the stream. For I'm, today. Sh- I'm shouting out LG every time. Let's go yeah. LG. <laughs> uh, who else do I want to shout out? Uh, shout out to Kevin. I'm getting him next time. Uh, uh, out to Robert for streaming Monday night, Wednesday night fights every week. That's 
he's been a real real homie and trying to like keep the scene alive and absolutely that's about, I mean, that's about it for me all right great well congratulations on winning ivan we look forward to seeing more from you in season two and just on net play in general as things continue and whenever we get back to land i mean you've been kind of dominating our west coast net play scene for right now so we'll see if anyone comes up to rise to the challenge you know but um it's been nice seeing your gameplay throughout the weeks and we look forward to seeing more of you with that um we're going to close off the stream thanks everyone for tuning in um and this has been the nfl season one finale thank you Hi, y'all.